It is time for my Premier League table prediction for the upcoming season. All in one part. Let's get into it. 19th Fulham. What the fuck was that? What the actual fuck was that performance? 18th Leeds. Maybe the only surprise there is Leeds, but they've lost Rafinha. Where are they scoring their goals from this season? They're going down. What can I say that has not already been said? Because this Liverpool team has officially fucking broken me. 16th Everton. How do you got points to them? How the fuck do you got points to them? They are the worst team in the league. They are the worst manager in the league. Their best player is Anthony fucking Gordon. And we can't beat them. I don't know the problem with this team. I really don't. Thiago is obviously a huge loss, but there's more than enough quality on that pitch to be beating teams like this. And the worst thing about today is Everton looked like more likely to fucking win the game in the last 20 minutes. I said a few weeks ago, and I would say it again. We are shy. I can't pinpoint it, but we are genuinely shy. And I worry for us this season. And lastly, Jordan Pickford can fucking piss off. He's shy all season, but he always performs against us. Fuck this shit, man. 15th Forest. Watch out for them this season. They will win some big games. Mark my words. How do we go from the performance against Manchester City to one week later produce stats? Seriously, I'm genuinely curious. What an embarrassment. And Liverpool fans call me out for calling this team an embarrassment and a disgrace. Well, we just lost in Nottingham Forest, a team that's pretty much already relegated. A team that's been outplayed by pretty much every opposition they have came up against so far this season. We couldn't score against them. Honestly, is that a fucking embarrassment? Is that a disgrace? Of course it is. And I'm fucking right. This team is an absolute shambles. And I said it before, from pretty much every single player in this team, apart from Madison Becker, he was a fucking goalkeeper. And we are going absolutely nowhere this season, the way we are going. What a fucking embarrassment. 14th Brentford. We are a mess. We are an absolute embarrassment. Defensively, we are like a fucking non league team. We can't even score goals. Darwin Nunes, where are you? Well, Palace. What have I just watched? What the fuck have I just watched? Darwin Nunes, you should be ashamed of yourself. Your first game in a Liverpool shirt at Anfield, and that is what you do. Something so stupid. You've already let down the players and the fans tonight. But apart from that, we only have ourselves to blame. The first half, we were excellent. Chance after chance, but we couldn't take anything. Against fucking Palace, we literally would have lost that game if Diaz didn't come up with something special in the second half. Trump started Matt Phillips, a championship centre-back, up against Zaha. Of course he got motion. Of course he cost us the fucking game. A midfield three of Elias, Milner and Fabinho in 2022. Do we seriously think that that is going to get things done tonight? We have taken two points from Crystal Palace and Fulham in our opening two games. Two fucking points. We are only two games in, but I can safely say I am a little bit worried about this team. Thank God we have Manchester United next week. 11th Brighton. We are a joke. We are an absolute fucking joke. To think we wasted four weeks to watch that other shite. The first 30 minutes today were absolutely pathetic. Pathetic from every single Liverpool player. But we got back in us, and we still didn't win the fucking game. How can you defend like that against Brighton? How can you defend like that with a back four of Trent Van Dijk, Massive and Semikas? How can you make Leandro Trossard look like a prime fucking Ed Nazar? A hat-trick at Anfield? Are you actually fucking serious? Ten points from our first seven Premier League games. What the fuck is happening? Seriously, it's absolutely fucking pathetic. Ninth Wolves. This team is one of the worst Liverpool teams I have ever fucking seen. It is as simple as that. Because week after week, there is nothing in this team. No passion, no heart, no guile, no quality. It's like watching the same game again and again. We have literally went from the best team in the world to getting outplayed by teams like Wolves in the space of six months. I don't even know when we are next going to win a fucking game. Fuck this shit. Manchester United 6. Call the season off. Call the fucking season off. Imagine getting beaten by a team that got outplayed by Brentford and Brighton. We are fucking shite. We are genuinely fucking shite. I said it before and I'll say it again. Henderson, shite. Miller, shite. Firmino, shite. Trent, he got torn down by Anthony fucking Alanga. He can't even fucking defend. We never even looked like getting back into the fucking game. Honestly, I don't know what the fuck is happening with this team, but we are an embarrassment and every single Liverpool player that plays tonight should be fucking embarrassed with themselves. It's going to be a long fucking season. <sighs> and fuck the fucking lot Arsenal fifth. It will be close though. Arsenal will improve. They have got better. How do these people have a job? Fourth, Chelsea. This team just have to be taking the absolute fucking piss at this stage. You're coming up against Chelsea. Fucking Chelsea. The banter club of the Premier League. And that is the performance you put in. I swear, maybe I'm stupid, but every time a Liverpool game comes around now, before the game I have this hope that today we might actually play well, and within five minutes of the ball being kicked off, the depression just kicks in of how utterly shite we are. We literally look good for about five minutes of that game, against that absolute utter shambles. But look, at least we didn't lose, lads. Come on, the Reds! And of course, the champions, number 20 is coming home for Liverpool. <laughs>